All right, let's just cut to the chase. Let's just talk about it. Let's just let's just admit to ourselves. Video games are a scam. People are really spending $60 on video games, plus the DLC, plus the season passes, plus the microtransactions, plus all these different skins and colors and uh, cosmetics and all this different stuff. Let's just admit it. Video games are a scam. <laughs> Can we just admit that? Honestly, just take your blindfold off, take off your rose-tinted glasses, and just look at it. Video games are a scam. Now, I'm not telling you not to buy video games. I'm just saying, when they come out, $60, plus the season pass, plus the deluxe, all these gold editions, platinum editions, silver editions, just avoid it. Just wait until the game just goes on sale. That's what I'm saying. Um, you know, I've been playing video games for a while. Um, you know, in high school, I didn't have a problem spending $60 on video games. I spent $60 on the Street Fighter V video game. Worst purchase I've ever made. That game sucked when it came out. Uh, I think it's better now, but I had such a horrible experience playing that game when it came out. I, uh, <laughs> the Street Fighter V game, I just I just erased that from my memory. I, I haven't picked it up since I bought it back in 2016, I think. That game really sucked. Um, I bought um, Uncharted for... I bought uh, the Final Fantasy 15. Um, so when I, I was in high school, I didn't really have a problem buying games for $60. Uh, you know, I was in high school, I didn't really have a girlfriend, I didn't really have any bills to pay. I was, I just was like, hey, I'm working a part-time job, I got money to spend, you know, video games, video games, right? Now since I'm older, you know, I'm 23, I got bills, girlfriend, uh, car repairs, all this different stuff, I'm just like, wow. $60 for a video game, that's a lot of money. You know what you could get for $60? You can go grocery shopping for $60. You could go out and buy a nice gift for someone for $60, but a video game, something you play for the weekend and then you just get tired of? And the thing is, $60 is the base price of the video game. The base price, the shell price. Um, that's not even talking about, if you wanna get the full game, you have to get the season pass, the DLC, all this, all this different stuff, and then it adds up to like what, one hundred twenty dollars? That's twice the amount that you paid for on day one. And people stop pre-ordering video games. That's a scam. You know how many video games I pre-ordered, and then I downloaded it, I played it the night that it came out, and I just was in buyer's remorse. A lot of video games I've done that with. I saw. So I, I just said stop. I just said that's enough. Um, now on, I just wait until video games come out on sale. <laughs> I don't spend more than forty dollars on a video game, and I always wait until it's like the the um, game of the year edition or the complete edition, because I don't want to just buy a video game and then it'd be like, oh, you want more levels? You want more fighters? You want more characters? Give us forty dollars, thirty dollars. I'm like. I spent $60 on this. You want me to spend $30, $40? That's like $110 on one video game. You know what I can get for $110? So I'm just like, man, um, I like barely don't even play video games anymore. I just got tired of the same old joke, $60 for this. And for the new console generation, they're gonna raise it to $70, $70. Seventy dollars plus. They're raising the game. They're raising the game prices up. They're gonna raise the DLC costs up too. So I'm just like, man, I'm just gonna throw my PlayStation Four out the window. Um, <laughs> I'm, I think I'm just done playing video games. Honestly, it's a scam. It's, I mean, unless you get the, unless you get on sale or the, the game of the year edition comes out. Just, I'm not telling you don't buy. I'm just telling you it's it's a scam. Just. If you want to spend your money on it, go ahead. Um, the point of this video is just, just admit it's a scam. You can buy it, support it, whatever, but just admit that you're getting robbed. Just admit that it's really not worth it once you consider all the different things you can get for $60 or $120 after you get the full game. Like I said, $60 is the shell price. If you want more, you're going to have to pay for more. And like I said, I don't have... I didn't say it, but, and I don't have a problem with supporting video games, you know, um, Tekken 7 is probably my favorite video game from the past decade, 
Um, and, you know, they have characters that come out. They have, like, different fighter packs. And, you know, I still play that game. Even, like, I think it's been, like, five, six, five, four, five years after it came out. You know, I'll still buy um, DLC from it because I like the game. Uh, I want to support the game. I want them to have more DLC, more stuff. So I don't have a problem with that because I really do enjoy the game. Like I said, it's kind of an old game at this point, but I just like supporting it because, you know, they put so much effort into it. I just love Tekken. I love that franchise, but um, a lot of companies are really overcharging for their DLC. I won't, I won't put out names. I'll just let you guys guess which ones I'm talking about, but um, video games, they're a scam. If you're going to buy video games, wait for them to go on sale. Uh, I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just saying that that's the wise thing to do, especially if you're like in college or like you're a young adult like me. Like <laughs> you, you got other, you, you know, in your heart, you got other things to spend your money on than sixty plus dollars on video games, sixty plus dollars on the new Cyberpunk or the new Valhalla game. Come on, I mean, once you're in high school, I guess it's okay because you really don't have, you don't have rent to pay, you don't have. You don't have uh, have to buy your own food and stuff. You don't have your own bills. But you know, once you get into college and like you're actually out in the world, be honest with yourself. You don't have money for you don't have money for that. Gaming is an expensive hobby. No one wants to admit that, but it really is. And it doesn't help that these games are overpriced. Most of these games are not worth the sixty dollar asking price. You know, a couple of them are. A few of them I can list off right now, but. If we're being honest, most of them are just not worth $60. And you know darn well they're not worth the DLC and the season passes and all that extra stuff. So, yeah, video games are a scam. Spend your money. I'm not telling you to do this, but I would say the wise thing to do is spend your money on something else.